The after effects of the election are still evident. People are taking the results and trying to fight them. A group in Oceanside really took the results to heart. I'm out here because it's a civil rights issue, and as a teacher, I'm fighting for the a future of my students because there are children who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and someday they'll fall in love and they want to be able to marry the people that they love. Voting adults weren't the only people who cared. And civil rights are something that so many people have fought for. I mean, you look at MLK, and he fought to his death for equal rights. So we got to continue that on. My, my ancestors were fighting for their civil rights, and here's more civil rights that we need to fight for. The idea was not to have a protest only, but to educate the community about the passing of Proposition 8. Uh, the coffin was symbolizing the death of equality. More than anything, we're just making people aware of what's going on, because I think a lot of people went out there and voted on Prop 8 not realizing what they were actually voting for. The Supreme Court has, de has decided to review the appeal on Proposition 8 in the coming up months. I think this is thanks to you. This of the filing has to do with uh, um, repealing uh, Proposition 8 based on the fact that it's unconstitutional. Um, it's still a long battle. We still have a long road to walk down. This election brought more political awareness than any other American election so far. Reporting for CHS-TV Worldwide, I'm Brent Roach.